Hey Calvary, I'm Pastor Sean and I have your word for the day. Not too long ago, I saw some pretty powerful advice when I was scrubbing through my Instagram feed. Uh, this self-help gu guru was sharing the secret to becoming a better person. And for her, it was as simple as thinking of the person you want to be, a better version of yourself, and just start acting like that person. Apparently, your brain notices you taking new action, making new steps in your life, and over time, it starts to solidify itself to be the person you want to become. I heard that and thought, wow, that's powerful advice. And the idea is, isn't focused on becoming something unrealistic, but becoming the best version of yourself. And then I thought, that's great, but it's actually missing one thing. That is Jesus. John 10, 9 through 10 tells us this. I'm the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. For the Christian, we don't need to discover or create some better version of ourselves and then pretend to be that person. The Bible makes it abundantly clear that the process of becoming a better person and even having a better life doesn't start by putting a better version of ourselves on some pedestal. It starts by modeling our lives after the very life and commandments of Jesus Christ himself. 1 John 2.6 says, whoever claims to live in him, that is Jesus, must live as Jesus did. A person who claims to be Christian isn't committed to being a better person. They're committed to be like Christ at every possible moment in life because that's where better actually comes from. Here's a few reasons why this matters. Number one, if you idolize a better version of yourself, you can lie to yourself about what good or better actually is. Jeremiah 17, nine tells us the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? This is where sin sneaks in and twists our desires to do good. Take a minute and think about where our motivations would actually come from. Usually it's our heart desires. Things like, man, I want these people to like me. I want to be likable, so I'll do anything or say anything to make myself likable, even if I betray truth in the process. Or man, I wanna be more productive, I wanna make more money, so we'll put money and work on a pedestal. Or man, I wanna be more fit and healthy, or I wanna look better, and then we end up idolizing our workouts and our bodies. You see, none of these desires are inherently bad or malicious, but how we achieve them on our own can end with a twisted result because we seek the desires of our hearts first. The truth is, when we picture the version of ourselves that's better in our head or in our heart, that image actually pales in comparison to the person we'd become if we modeled our lives after Jesus instead. The second reason is this. We learned through reading the Bible that being a better person is actually defined by ridding ourselves of sin that would otherwise separate us from God. The thing is, for thousands and thousands of years, people have tried to do this and become a better version of themselves. In fact, the desire to be better is where the 600 plus Jewish laws came from. What we learned though, is that no amount of trying to be better or striving to be better actually makes us better. Even now, there's nothing we can do to become a better person, but Jesus changes all that. Galatians 2.20 tells us this, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I live as Christ lives in me. For the Christian, modeling our lives after Jesus is almost too, too easy. All we have to do in order to become a better person is, funny enough, stop caring about becoming a better person and instead open our Bibles and learn and practice living like Jesus Christ lived. For those listening, if you have any desire to be a better version of yourselves, then live like Christ lives. Do this by practicing one thing, surrender. Or as Jesus put it, pick up your cross daily and follow him. Living like Jesus starts by us realizing we can't live a better life on our own. We also can't imagine the immense joy and blessings he has in store for us, and we can't fix ourselves or anyone, but Jesus can. So practice surrendering to him every day Stop worrying about being a better version of yourself and instead be more like Christ. Matthew 6, tells us, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. True life change doesn't come from trying harder and creating more laws for your, for your life. It comes from surrendering your life to Jesus, dying with him in baptism and being raised to an abundance of life. So open your Bibles today seeking the answer to one question. How did Jesus live? I love you, Calvary, and I hope you have many chances to live as Christ lives today. We'll see you later.